Fuck, have you grown? You're just even taller. Confidently. Hello? Yeah. Hi, hi Chris, this is Tass from Socially Powerful. Um, I, I got your number from Ryan. Um, I wanted to come by um, in the next hour, hour and a half to come and uh, collect the box. Is that okay? Uh, it is, yeah. Sounds good. All right, see you in a bit. Thanks. Bye bye. You are officially powerful. Right. Tell me about that. There's a big shift happening from uh, the broadcast era into the audience era, and I think it's so important for brands to connect with um, their audiences in a more meaningful way and provide value up front and stop being interruptive with their advertising. You know, who are we trying to target and how can we provide value to these audiences in a way that pulls them in and engages them but enables brands to also kind of target the audience and I guess we're aiming for a situation in which everyone wins instead of just doing kind of banner ads and taking people's time. Very brief overview. Absolutely. How do you become an influencer? How do you hack Instagram? How do you amass uh, large follower numbers? And um, to a certain degree, it, it, it's almost like people are blinded by the reach and the numbers. Um, and they just kind of want to get yeah. the biggest following uh, that's possible. Some people result into just buying them, um, which is never a good idea because you can just see that you know the followers are, are, are fake and there's no um, there, there's no real engagement. And for us, it's you know it's about finding quality. Quality is always going to win, not just quantity. You use the um, the word or the term social media expert, and I think that term kind of jars with me a little bit because. You know, changes are happening so quickly and attention is kind of shifting and, you know, one platform could be fading, another one could be um, getting more attention. And I think instead of, you know, calling myself a social media expert, I'm just sort of on the cusp of trying to figure this whole thing out. What I'll do is I'll catch up with the guys and send you over a, a blurb as soon as I get a chance, really. It's, it's, it's super busy with, uh, with this yeah. launch. Um, it's been really useful kind of getting some context from you and sharing a little bit about our POV. Cool. All right. I appreciate it. Awesome. Well, lucky to speak to you and have a safe flight. Thank you very much. I'm just uh, picking up this box real quick. I'm going to pay. It's good that you're calling me because I want to make sure like the, uh, the payment is going to go through. I'm here to pick up a box. Yep. Yeah? Okay. I'm Carl. Nice to meet you, Tass. Sweet. Let's have a look at this. These are all, these are really, really sensitive as far as like alignment and everything goes. Uh, just help the box down. You might need to like, you can figure it out just by the feel of it, right? You might need to depress them a little bit to get them in and stuck, but once they're in, just double press and go. Perfect, appreciate okay, it. Thanks for your hard work. Thank you. Here we have it. Legendary box. Does it work? Hmm? Not for me. Open it. What do you think? Press the two buttons at the same time. Yeah, I am. What do you think I'm doing? I'm gonna try one more time here. Can you just show us how to open it one more time? <laughs> so what? Push them out a little bit. Sweet. Perfect. I mean, ultimately, it's about unbox therapy, using something that he likes to get the engagement. Sorry? Let's go meet this guy. The more you know who you are and what you want, the less you let things upset you. So there you go. Perfect, thank you very much, man. This is the box. That's great, that's pretty cool. Cool, give uh, Lou my best. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Thank you very All much. All the best. Yeah, thank Cheers. you. Cheers.
there may be a problem because there's a storm in London over the Atlantic and they're saying our flight may be delayed. If it's delayed, one of you needs to get on the plane and uh, go to the event. Tony arrives on the 24th, so one of us has to be at the event on the 24th. The other two arrive on the 25th. The actual launch is the 26th, and I wanted to leave on the 27th. But um, there's a lot to organize, a lot to do. It's like their biggest event. Everyone is shitting themselves. Gentle. No, I'm not gentle, Jen. I'm doing genocide. <laughs> You're calling me a drone. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the receipts for everything. Don't forget the envelope. It'll kill me. Yeah, so arrived here um, essentially to deliver some phones and deliver a, a box for a, an unboxing video, part of the project we're doing. It was successful, there's a little bit of back and forth from the creative, I hope the client likes it. And now, um, we're heading to Barcelona to do the launch finally. So this whole thing has been the build up to the launch. And I'm pretty pumped. There's gonna be some super senior characters. There's gonna be a lot of you know, stress because they wanna get it perfect. Um, everyone's gonna watch and scrutinize everything. Um, so we're reconnecting with uh, Tony, Zenia and Mariano, but all at the same time, they're all arriving tomorrow. So really, there's no time for mistakes. It's the last little bit, the last few days, but probably the most important. So, yeah, had a good time in Toronto, flew the drone, crashed the drone. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say, hey man, look, these guys would really like a preview. I know that I said that we, we didn't have to do one. Is there any way we can, if we push it back to later in the week? And he'll probably say, yeah, that's fine, that's fair, right? Mm -hmm. So if, if you can do that for me, I think I can I can make it happen. Okay. Um, and, uh, and, and maybe we'll just, uh, we kind of uh, circle tomorrow or even later on tonight and, and see how things are going. I know that he wasn't going to shoot till tomorrow anyway, so we have some time to try and figure this out. And uh, and if that's a big deal to them, I understand. Um, if we can, um, you know, push it back a bit further, I think I can 100% get that done. Cool. Yeah, that all makes sense. Um, you're not saying sort of anything that I wouldn't, you know, say say in exactly the same way if I was in your shoes. Oh. Perfect. Thanks so much, Ryan. All right, you're welcome. Right. You have a good flight. Safe flight. Thank you. Speak soon. Thanks. Bye bye. All right. Thanks. Bye. Rolling with the homies. Tell us about what you do. What made you get into fighting? Um, I got into fighting through weight loss, and it was just really addictive. Like it didn't feel like I was training. And to get better, you'd have to lose more weight. So it was just it worked hand in hand. Mm. And then I saw people sparring, and I just wanted to start sparring as well. Mm -hmm. And so I went to the Nationals, because I wanted to see how I would do against girls doing it professionally. And how did you do? Well, I won the Nationals. Fucking killed it. Yeah, with two months of sparring. So you were talented. I just have a lot of determination. I'm not going to let somebody beat me up you in front your, of a crowd. You found your calling. Like, there's a lot of stupid people that have, have influence in this world. Like, yeah. a lot of stupid people. So if you actually have something good to say, and I feel like fighting puts me at a platform to kind of influence more people, right? Yeah. Like, come on, look look at the Kardashians. Like, they're making waves with their butts. Like, that's the influence that they have in the world. Go get a fake butt. Like, that's horrible. I want to be a better influence to the world. So if I'm gonna have to be here, right? Do it, but like, how big of us, like, why can't you become the, uh, the next Ronda Rousey? I said, why can't I? I can't. Okay. Like, I'm not gonna be the next Ronda Rousey. I'm gonna be the next genocide. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's not very good, you see. I'm gonna be the next JC genocide. Good, like, but who just wants don't. It? My aspirations <laughs> are beyond Ronda Rousey. Okay, what did Ronda Rousey do for the world? Yeah, she got herself there, and then she made she made us look like we quit. She got beat up and she quit. Do you understand that? Like, that looks even worse. Yeah. Why? No, I want to be better than that. I want to show myself that like women can be strong and knock out other women. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with her? Like It's mentality. It's completely mentality. But like, you, she should be able to, if she's that dominant, she should be able to come back in. She should, but you know, like hopefully she strengthens her mind and like... People love an underdog back, and... Well, gets back to like... The way she used to train. Yeah. 
you have to understand, like, it's all a business. So Dana White really exposed her even more. Her first fight back was against the champ. What do you think is going to happen? Her first fight after she got beat the shit out of. No, you don't do that. It's like a Tyson all over again. Dana White's a new Don King. Mm. <laughs> he is. He exposed her completely. And he wasn't on her side. He was just trying to get as much juice as he can out of her. Do you understand that? Yeah. Like all those people, like even um, Lady Gaga, everybody, they just want to get as much as they can out of that vessel, mm. right? It's a money-making person. Mm -hmm. And people are watching them so that they're going to use them. So you guys have got a great photo of all of us. It looks yeah. fantastic. They don't care about Squeeze them. them like oranges. Yeah. And if you let yourself get squeezed like an orange because you money talks, then you will. But if you actually use that. But she could have just, you know, continued to be dominant. Oh my gosh, you're so proper. McGregor is, is a money-making machine and he talks the talk, but he walks the walk. His mind is strong. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful outside. You guys. All right, all Thank you guys, sir. We're going to reunite with Xenia, Mariano, and Tony all in the same space. So I think the trip's been good. It's been intense, but it's about to get a hell of a lot more intense. So let's do it. All righty. Powerful, reunited. Let's do that again. Do it again. <laughs> We've got all this fucking camera gear and shit. Let's go and check in, man. Let's go to Barca. Barcelona. Barcelona, Messi. Messi, Catalan. Siempre magnifico. Fuck, have you grown? You're just even taller. Confidently. Unboxing video with YouTube's biggest unboxing channel and the hiccup specifically is just the launch date when we can go live there's not enough time left to get everything done plus the client wants a review video which wasn't part of the scope I'm sure it'll be fine yeah fast track sweet Nice one. Well, you can't come. You can't come through. Cool. See you. See you later, man. Peace out. Thank you very much. You need to get some sleep. It's fine. I'll go in before. Me. What's your seat? 11th flight in the row, sitting next to you. No, I just embellish everything. It's a disease. We're now going to explain the emergency procedures on this British Airways aircraft. We recommend that you remove your personal headphones. The captain and the crew are here for your safety. <laughs> 